Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be unbagging Ipsy's Glam Bag for the month of January, and I hope you guys are really excited. I'm going to share with you everything that I received. We're going to be getting ready to gather, testing everything out, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys haven't heard of Ipsy, it is a beauty monthly subscription. For this monthly subscription, it's only $12 free shipping, and you receive sample size products that you get to try out new brands and just see what they're all about in hopes that maybe if you really love them, maybe you'll purchase the full size. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one and as always let's jump on in and check out what we got this month our theme it is dream it says new month new year and the sky is the limit which I really love there's this pretty blue clear sky on the postcard and I really love it because most of us are looking back at 2020 and just kind of looking back at the whole year and now looking forward to 2021 setting our intentions setting goals and just kind of hoping for the best which I really love and this is basically our bag you guys I personally really like that it's clear you can kind of see what's inside I really love that the wording all around it it says dream we should never stop dreaming we should always reach for more and you know we should always work towards something and have goals so I personally really really love this little bag and the first thing that I have here it is from origins and this is a retexturizing mask with rose clay in it and it's pretty small size but I feel like this will last you a few times like you can definitely get a few uses out of this using a mask and I feel like masks is something that you use about two to three times a week just depending on you know your skin and it says here apply a thin layer choose clean skin to avoid the eye area leave on for 10 minutes using wet fingertips a wash off and use like I said one to two times per week and that is basically it let me open this up really quickly because I'm really curious to see if it smells like anything I'm assuming it's gonna smell like rose but you know we won't really know until we we smell it. Definitely smells like rose. It smells kind of strong, but we'll see once we apply it on. But so far, it doesn't smell too bad. It smells like roses, so you can never go wrong with that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply on this mask, you guys, and then we'll move on to our next item in our bag. just rinsed off of my face you guys and I do want to share with you that this mask is a mask but it also has like little micro beads in it that's kind of like an exfoliator that you feel like it's exfoliating your skin when you're washing this off and I found that really interesting they're definitely not very finely milled they're kind of sporadically like little chunks all around so I found it really interesting it definitely made my skin feel really really smooth I feel like my skin looks a little bit more vibrant so so far I really like it it's definitely different but I do love the scent it smelled really nice it was really calming and I just felt like I had a nice little like experience so so far, I really love it. As of for the next item that I have here in my glam bag, it is from Youth of the People, which I really love their brand. And this is a, I'm probably going to say this wrong, but it's Moki and Acai Prickly Pear Goji Strawberry Hydrating Glow. This is a facial oil. I love facial oils. I think they're so great to have. It says here how to use. It says use it day or night. It says after cleansing, apply two to five drops of oil into hands and then rub them together and then press it on to your skin. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this on, obviously, since after we've already cleansed and applied our face mask. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply about three drops of this face oil. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and press my hands together, rub them together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press this product all on my skin. And to be really honest, it doesn't smell like anything, but it, if I had to describe it, it smells like a tiny bit of like oil. <laughs> That's it. It just smells like oil, but it doesn't smell strong. It doesn't smell overpowering. It doesn't smell bad, but it just smells like, you know, like kitchen oil. <laughs> As of for the next item that I have here, you guys, it is a from Cover FX. And it says Shimmer Veal, and it's the shade of Soleil. So let me open this up because I'm really curious to see what it is. And it is, I'm assuming this is kind of like an eyeshadow, kind of like a cream eyeshadow that you can apply on. So we're going to go ahead and uh, swatch this actually on the back of my hands because I'm really curious to see the undertone to it. And it's a really pretty kind of like a rosy, pinky shade. So I'm really excited to use this because I don't think I've ever used like a cream eyeshadow base like this before. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my makeup, you guys. I'm going to use this eyeshadow base and then we'll move on to the next two items that I have here in my bag. Alright guys, so I have finished doing basically half 
half of my makeup. I'm going to move on into the next item. But actually, first, let me give you a quick run through on this Cover FX Shimmer Veal. And this is in the shade Soleil. It is really nice. It dries really quickly, so you have to move really fast. But it sets into place really, really well. And I really love the undertone to it. I don't really have, like, I couldn't find pink kind of eyeshadows that I was really feeling. So kind of made it work with the eyeshadow that I picked, the purpley plum eyeshadow. So, so far, I really like it. It's really nice. It's very, very shimmery. And I just was really surprised. So I'm so happy that I received it. We're going to move on to Oma. And this is a Drama Bomb Extreme Volume Nourishing mascara and to be really honest i'm really excited to try this out i'm a little nervous just because you guys know me here on my channel when it comes to mascaras i'm really particular just because mainly when i curl my lashes then apply mascara my lashes fall forward it doesn't hold the curl even if i apply mascara then curl them like set, let it sit for a second and then curl them after i applied mascara it still doesn't hold a curl so i'm a little nervous but we're gonna test it out today let's cross our fingers it works out let me go and open up this mascara and ooh, the bristles are really really nice I really like get all through an up close clip of everything you guys so you guys can see and so if I really like the bristles to it So I feel like it's definitely very voluminizing So you guys let's go ahead and curl up my lashes and then apply some of this mascara and then move on to our last and final item here in my bag I just finished applying mascara you guys and let me tell you it was a total disaster Unfortunately, I curled my lashes went in with the mascara applied a few coats. It's definitely really volumizing So that is a big plus. I really like the wand but quickly after applying mascara my lashes fell forward and did not hold a curl I let them dry and then try to curl them again hopefully being able to you know hold the curl and it's not I think one side is kind of curled than the other so they're looking kind of like a crazy mess but you guys this is what happens if anyone's like that comment down below let me know just because it's so frustrating my lashes don't have a curl at all to them they they grow straight forward and downward <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the last and final item that i have here in my glam bag it's from stilla and it's a stay all day liquid lipstick and this is in the shade patina i think that's how you pronunciate it and it's a really pretty like mauve lip shade i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it really quickly in the back of my hand because I'm really curious to see the undertone and it's a really pretty mauve lip shade. I feel like it will go perfectly with the look that I've created for today and it, I love the Adolfo applicator. It has a lot of flexibility to it. I feel like it picks up a lot of products so I'm going to go ahead and apply this on and I'll be back in a bit. Guys, this is basically it. I have a finish getting ready and to be honest, I really like this Stila long lasting, what is it, all day, stay all day <laughs> liquid lipstick and the shade Patina. It's really, really pigmented. I really love it with one swatch of the applicator I was able to apply an even amount around my lips and line my lips it is so flexible the little doe applicator I'm really surprised and I really love the scent to it and I just love the color it's a really pretty lip shade I'm surprised I haven't tried more of Stila's products before especially the lip products so as of for everything that I received to be really honest I loved everything except the mascara the mascara was just a total disaster you guys I feel like this is perfect for my lower lashes not meant for my upper lashes and I tried to curl them right now and they look really crazy <laughs> so that that is the only downside to it. If you're someone who has a natural curl, then I would totally suggest you to try this one out. It's really, really volumizing. It's really nice. I love the wand, but just it didn't work out for me, girl. <laughs> As of for the face mask, I personally really liked it. It was I was pleasant and surprised that it has like little micro scrubs in it that exfoliate the skin. I definitely felt like my skin felt really soft and refreshed. I love the scent to it. I'm not a big fan when it comes to, you know, facial scrubs, but this one was a pleasant surprise. It's not something that I would use often to be really honest, I'd probably give this away, but I really love the scent and it felt really nice on. As for the oil, I personally really love the oil. I can see myself using this again. I love using facial oils as my nighttime skincare routine, so I'll continue using this one for sure. And as for the cover effects, I was really pleasantly surprised of how vibrant and shimmery this creamy eyeshadow is. I really love the undertone to it. I definitely can see myself using it and I really like that it dries out really quickly, especially if you're, you know, in a rush trying to get out of the house and trying to look presentable. This is really, really handy and I really love the undertone to it. And for my glam bag, you guys, I personally like my little cute glam bag. I feel like you can never go wrong. I love that they include this every month. You never know what you're receiving or the theme and they always make them look so cute and I love that it's clear. It's handy. It's perfect for travel. You can kind of smush it up and, you know, come compacted if you're traveling. 
and I personally really like it. It's perfect that you can throw in your handbag, you can put all your essentials in here, like your compact, your powder, your lip product, and stuff like that. So I personally really love them for $12. I really love the idea that you get to try, you know, even though they're sample size products, I really love the idea that you're able to try new things and just get a little taste of, you know, what the possibility is out there <laughs> of other brands and other products and just see, you know, if maybe you like it enough to maybe go and buy the full size. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below. Let me know out of all five of the products that I received today, which one was your favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And as always, you guys, I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys so, so much. Bye!